Hey Mobites and Homo Sapiens, it's me Rob Marby Scott, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I am going to be doing some inner corner um, eyeshadows um, so I'm not too sure what colours I'm going to do today but I decided to just do this video because it's a very really quick and easy tutorial and all you really need is two brushes and you need a concealer <laughs> Wish I could find dead. So today I am doing a eyeshadow look and it's just going to be your inner corners. Uh, but you're going to need a eyeshadow base or concealer that is a lot lighter than your skin tone. Now if you're on the paler side, you just need to set your inner corners basically. You don't need to worry about going any shades lighter than you are already are. So, I'm dark. You see this? Yeah, this is gonna pop, pop, pop. Okay, let's go on to the look. So first off, I am going to put some concealer onto my eyelids. So as you can see, that tiny little spot there is all the concealer that I need today. Um, I'm just gonna load my brush and I'm just gonna put concealer all over here just so that once I do, um, finish the look my eyes are already done before I place my foundation so I don't need to do anything and don't mess up that concealer so I'm just kind of leaving this space bare in my inner corners just because well I don't want the colors to blend in the shades to blend in too much now just to set my lids, I'm just going in with some translucent powder and I am going in with my finger as you can see because why waste a clean brush when I don't need to when my finger is going to just do exactly what I want. Right, let's go on to inner corners. Going in with my Ultima Eye Base Eye Primer in white, not white. Light from Makeup Revolution. I am using the number four, the Beauty Box Boutique brush. I mostly use this for face painting, but because of its tapered size, let me do it that side, because of its tapered um, flatness as well, it's just gonna fit right in here the way I want to just first place stamp stamp it on oh you can't really see that but it's a tiny little spot so I'm just gonna coat my brush and one Now I can blend that out a little bit. I'm not going to blend it too much because I do want there to be some sort of shape. Now I don't know what shades I'm using so let me get back to you and think. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty and I am going to go in with the shade Healer or Healer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this on very gently. Uh, this is the brush that I'm using but I can't remember where, oh it's a Morphe brush. <laughs> was just a random brush that I got from the pound store or something um yeah so I'm just gonna build up on that color and I suppose I could just blur around the edges and me being me I'm gonna go in with Hypnotic from the Vampirism palette 
and I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just gonna go in right in the little corner and then when you're done with this do your lashes if you want to put liner on and then do your base So that's how I do my inner corners if I want to do them. Sometimes I actually just kind of use a highlighter and just place the highlighter there with a Q-tip. But that's with, you know, not using any colour. So highlighter is always going to like show up on your skin anyway. But if you do put on a lighter concealer when you're putting on the highlighter, oh my gosh, blinding much. Anyway, so I'm going to go now because it's Sunday. I need to go to work and I also need to prepare my dinner before I go to work. And don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Share this video also. Um, I'll see you next time in the next video. Alright. <laughs> Bye.